Hello everybody and welcome back to more Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker part 4 and also hopefully the very last part of the Earth Temple. The plan is to come in here, get our boss key, and then kind of get the hell out of here and go fight our boss. Now what's annoying about this is you're faced up against these, um, these guys, the Dark Nuts or whatever the hell they're called. And you also have these little, I, I think they're called like bubbles, but I call them like flames with or skulls with flames most of the time, but anyways, um, if their gas touches you, you won't be able to draw your sword and defeat that Dark Knight. So what I suggest doing is just taking care of them, first of all, get them the hell out of your way, because they're just annoying, and then wait for the button commands and take these guy, this guy out, as you usually would, as per, as per usual. I guess I can maybe steal his Knight's Crest, although I don't think we need any more. I think I've gotten all the ones that I need to get, but... Let's go ahead and just take him out. And you do need to defeat all of the enemies in this room to be able to get your key and also get back out of here. So it is mandatory to defeat the Dark Knight and the skulls with gas or whatever the hell they're called. And you do have to use the Duke of Leaf to get the gas to stop being around them so you can actually use your sword on them. Very, very easy room to get our boss key, so just go ahead and grab it. You got the big key, which I already spoiled. And then we can backtrack a few rooms and get the hell out of here. I think we have every single treasure in this dungeon. As you can see, I cleaned this place out mighty nicely. And now we can get out of here. Oh, it's so nice and lit up. It's just, it's, it's lovely. Kind of reminds me of the sun. Well, I guess, <laughs> I guess it kind of does remind me of the sun because it's a sun icon lighting up the room. So let's fly mentally up to the top. You have to fly her up because you obviously can't climb ladders with her, or climb or climb the ladder as a link with like her on your on your um, with her on your back, blah, blah, or something. Even though that would be pretty cool. But yeah, it reminds me of like the sun when it's a sunny day and all the sun, the natural sunlight comes in from your, like the coming in through your window. I love that feeling. I have, I live in the bedroom with the, that's attached to the, uh, the deck outside so I get that luxury. Uh, and I think we can pretty much, pretty much fly medley up there so let's do that. Actually, you know, I don't even know why I'm flying her, because, first of all, I just landed in that pit, which was really stupid of me. Um, but you also don't need Medley for the boss battle, which is kind of disappointing, like, I kind of wish that you did. Um, I just think that would have been really cool, but you don't actually need her for the boss battle, so I guess I can pretty much just leave her down here, because she doesn't really, we don't need her for anything. But... I'd, be, I'd, be, I'd feel kind of mean just leaving her down here. At least we can leave her outside the entrance of the, the boss door so she can listen to all the excitement. And, of course, Link has to climb very, very slowly. I'm so glad. I was just watching a twi uh, Twilight Princess LP because... I don't know. I had, to, I had debated for a really long time if I was ever going to do Twilight Princess, but... Eh, it's too boring for me. I don't think that I will. But I was watching somebody do an LP of it, and Link climbs so slowly. He climbs so ridiculously slow. And I guess it's because they wanted to make it look like more realistic, like like a normal human would actually climb vines. But it's a video game. You don't need to make it look logical. It just takes forever. So thank you for not making Toon Link take a thousand years to climb. Anywho, there should be a fairy around here we can pick up. Should be, I'd say that, because there usually is, but sometimes there is not. Ooh, whoopies! And in this case, there is not, so I was wrong, there is actually no fairy to pick up. Well, if that is the case, then I'm just going to go on ahead and get the boss battle started. Sorry, Medley, but I'm gonna have to leave you behind, because we don't need you. And hopefully this boss battle doesn't take me too long. Because, of course, we're going to get some nice ending cutscenes. Anywho, first thing is first, let's take on the boss. As you can see, we've run into a bunch of these stupid ghosts that we've seen earlier on in this dungeon. Except they're a bunch of different colors. And they come together to form... 
a gigantic obese ghost. <laughs> With a lantern, he kind of looks like a Poe, actually, or he kind of resembles a Poe. This is probably one of the funnest. See, it, it, I don't think funnest is a word, funner is a word, but anyways, this is one of the more fun boss battles in the game, and it's also extremely easy. All you gotta do is just go ahead and uh, use the light. I don't know why I was tongue tied there. Use the light. Um, throw them at the wall, and then go ahead and just go to town with all these little ghosts. Um, there's a few ways I've seen people do this. You can use arrows, uh, you can just plant a bunch of bombs and hope that uh, they hit them. But I find that I basically just like to just start in one corner and just defeat as many as I can. And that's all there is to this boss battle. He really doesn't actually have a lot of attacks. He'll do this one here where he'll try to suck you in. Uh, he'll throw fire at you like he's doing now. But he doesn't actually come and like physically hit you with his lantern, I don't think. So all you do is you, you know, hit him, and then you, of course, using the, the mighty power bracelets that we got, we can lift this gigantic ghost, and then you can defeat all his little babies, or whatever the heck they are. Friends? I don't know. They still do take two things to defeat, which is kind of annoying. Um, again, the, the move that we get from Orca would have been really, really useful for this fight, but we should be able to pretty much finish him off in three little cycles here. And I also love the music for this. It's it's very like I don't know, um, what's the word? Mischievous, I guess. Kind of like mischief, like a like a ghost likes to cause mischief, I guess. That's kind of what it reminds me of. Um, and I think it's so suiting for this boss battle. Definitely, definitely a great choice of music. But then again, Zelda always has a great choice of music. And. Did you, did you not see that? Did you see how incredibly fast he came back that time? Wow. That was ridiculous. I only got one ghost destroyed before he did that. Anywho. I'm sick of your shenanigans. Oh, and of course it moved. What? Oh yeah. I forget. <laughs> when, uh, when you start pretty much destroying him utterly, uh, the light moves, which is annoying, and he gets a lot faster. So here I, here I said, oh yeah, three cycles and it should be done. But like, I only get a chance to destroy like one ghost and then he just comes back. And I'm like, how annoying is that? Ugh, come on. One more. Eh. No. Ugh. Ugh. It's a good thing that it doesn't take that long to actually get those ghosts to come out. Because if it did, that would just be painfully annoying. Yeah, see, it moves. Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, it's over there. <laughs> oh, and he, like, belly flops on you, too. That's funny. I don't think I've actually seen him do that. Okay, one more ghost. This cannot be that hard to find. Seriously, we could have had him defeated last time. That was ridiculous. But yeah, really fun boss battle. Didn't really take any damage, I don't think, on that one. And I think it's really cool that they combined not only the temple item that you got, but they also combined the power bracelets that you had to use to actually get into this temple. So I thought that was really cool that they used both of those items. So there we go. The Earth Temple is now officially done on Link's part. And we can hopefully get our Master Sword powered up and move on to the next temple. Of course, it's got the Triforce in here. Let's go grab our heart container. I think we start on our next roll of hearts, too, guys. Let's see. Oh, we don't. Wow, that's a long row of hearts. Anywho, we still got one more heart container, so that's pretty cool. And here comes Medley, because we left her behind. I don't know how she knew the battle was done, but... Let's let her do her thing and finish up in here for good.
<laughs> Again, Link is not sure about this Master Sword, but we got the Prayer of the Earth Sage, and that has restored a little bit of the Master Sword's power. There is but one last step before it becomes the true Master Sword once again. Link, the power to repel evil is not yet fully awakened. To complete the awakening of the Master Sword, you must go to the Wind Temple for one more prayer. Now, Link, step into the light behind you and return to the surface. Your next duty is to find the Sage of the Wind Temple. I will remain here and continue to pray. You must hurry. Well, thanks for all the help, Medley, and we won't see you at all anymore, so I'm really sad about that. Um, about Prince Kamali, please watch over him for me. Yeah, she won't be doing much of that anymore. So, say goodbye to Medley everybody and also say goodbye to the earth temple and be welcomed back to the beautiful outdoors once again I think the king red lines will speak to us the master sword's power still has not fully returned perhaps I am mistaken but I fear the worst for the sage in the remaining temple you must hurry link Okay, so we're obviously not going to do that in this video, but the next time we obviously have to head up to the Wind Temple. Um, of course, we have to find the power to get in there first, and then we have to find the person. So I haven't un actually unlocked this on my C chart for whatever stupid reason, but the island that we actually need to go to is right here. So it's really not a long sail. And what I'll probably do is just meet you guys there next time um, because, you know, there's no use in going to the temple because it's going to be the, the same repeat of last time uh, if we do, if we go there before we're properly equipped. So I think that's all for this video. Like I said, I'm just going to meet you in that square to get our next item. So thank you all so much, very much. Thank you so very much, I should say, for watching this episode of Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. And I hope that I'll see you all next time.